Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about the refrigeration system sa barko. Ngayon, pag-usapan natin yung outline ng refrigeration provision system. Yung typical na system ng refrigeration consists of two sets of refrigerating condensing unit. So, may dalawang refrigeration sa barko. Yung isa for backup. Tapos, we have unit coolers sa chamber. Ang refrigeration system, this includes the refrigerating compressor, the condenser, and several devices to help smooth operation of the refrigerating machinery such as an oil separator and a liquid separator. Moreover, a controller of the compressor and an expansion valve panel are components of the system. Ngayon, para makontrol yung chamber temperature, we have the thermo expansion valves the magnet valves, the thermostats, and the temperature gauges. So the parts are, the major parts and function are number one, the compressor. The function of this compressor is compress the refrigerant discharge from the evaporator. So, pagkagaling na evaporator, i-compress ni compressor para maging high pressure yung refrigerant para kasi kapag hindi siya high pressure, hindi din siya matuturn into liquid efficiently. So, in order to to turn the refrigerant gas into liquid form in the condenser, it must be compressed into high pressure by the uh, compressor. And then we have the oil separator. The oil separator function is to separate the refrigerating machine oil dahil may machine oil sa loob ng compressor. So, this machine oil provides lubrication of the reciprocating compressor. So, this separates the refrigerating machine oil which is discharged together with the gas refrigerant in the compressor and automatically returns the oil to the compressor. So, this is very important, the oil separator. And then, the condenser. This is a heat exchanger na nagko-convert ng high pressure and high temperature refrigerant from the gaseous state to the liquid state. So, from refrigerant gas, gagawin niya itong liquid. In the condenser, container, cooling water or the cooling sea water flow, flows around the condenser and absorbs the heat from the refrigerant. So, yung nagpapalamig sa condenser is cooling seawater. And then, we have the accumulator. This accumulator prevents the wet compression or excessive liquid backflow. So, dito, pinaprotektahan yung compressor from wet compression. So, dapat puro dry compression lang or puro liquid uh, refrigerant gas yung magsasaction dun sa compressor kasi nasisira yung compressor kapag nag-compress siya ng liquid. 
And then we have the control box. This control box co used to contain the protective devices and this run the control devices. And we have the safety valve. This safety valve, if the high pressure switch does not work for some reason, this valve which is installed on the condenser will work and let the refrigerant escape out of the system. This prevents the pressure from rising abnormally in the system. So never close this main safety stop valve because this safety stop valve must be piped so as to let the refrigerant escape out of the ship to prevent the overpressure. So this is the expansion valve panel. Tapos ito yung control panel ng refrigeration chamber. So dito natin makikita kung umaandar yung reefer compressor natin. Kung sino yung standby at saka sino yung service. Ngayon buksan natin ito. Makita natin yung electrical components. So this electrical components meron tayong timer. This is the defrost timer. For the fish room and the meat room. This is the circuit breaker. And we have the fuses. The magnetic contactor. The overload relay. Or, or OCR. Over current relay. We have the terminal blocks. We have contactors. So that's it. This is the refrigeration plant dito sa barko. So madami pa kayong matututunan tungkol sa refrigeration. Basta subscribe nyo lang itong channel tapos just hit the notifications. So thank you.